This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 Philippians 4, 6, and 7 Philippians Do not be anxious About anything But in everything By prayer and petition With thanksgiving Present your request to God do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, the peace of God. Thanksgiving, present your request to God And the peace of God Which transcends all understanding Will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus The peace of God Which transcends all understanding Will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus Please stand for the pledges. Please pledge to the Christian flag. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for its kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen and cometh again with life and liberty for all who believes. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy words. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our HPCA mantra. Place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. As an ambassador, I am patient. As an ambassador, I am wise. As an ambassador, I am gracious in speech. As an ambassador, 
I am generous. As an ambassador, I am honest. As an ambassador, I have readiness of mind. As an ambassador, I am humble. As an ambassador, I am confident. Okay, let's sing the school song. Good morning, Ambassadors. This is Principal Wright. I'm so excited about today's chapel lesson, um, The Long-Suffering Lion. Um, so, you know, in the month of September, we've been um, focusing on the first characteristic of ambassadorship, which is patience. So our first chapel lesson, we use a, um, an ice tray, right? To remind us that um, good things come to those who wait. Um, and then our second 
uh, chapel lesson um, was with a rubber band. Remember the stretchy rubber band? It just reminded us of God's, the character of God that's long suffering, meaning that God is very, very patient with us. Today, I think you're really gonna love it, especially our younger ambassadors, uh, because I wanna read you a story about a lion who had to um, practice long suffering. But first, let's pray. Our Father and our God, Lord, we come this morning to say thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your love and your kindness. We ask, Lord God, that you will be present with us uh, this day and for the rest of the week. And we thank you in advance for building patience in us and through us. May we continue to be used for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go. I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. The Long-Suffering Lion by Jamie Bryant Leo Lion awoke from a restful nap and saw his cousins, Lucy and Lonnie, playing with twigs and sticks. Lonnie and I are going to join our cousins in the jungle. Do you want to come, Lucy asked? Sure, Leo said. Leo ran to find his parents. Mom, Dad, can I go with Lonnie and Lucy to the jungle? We'll all go, his dad replied. Leo, his parents, Lonnie and Lucy quickly caught up to the others and found them feasting on a buffalo. Leo's cousin Lloyd roared. You won't find a buffalo like we did, Lloyd bragged. A buffalo was a great catch and a lion favorite, but Leo knew he could find something better. Betcha we can, Leo boasted. Slowly, Leo crept deep into the woods with watchful eyes. Leo climbed a nearby tree to have a better look. From the highest branch, he saw a herd of zebra. What a feast zebra would be. In his excitement to tell everyone, he slipped coming down. Leo kept falling and burst through a hole covered by twigs and grass, finally landing in a pit. He looked up at the surprised faces of his family. Son, are you hurt? I don't think so. Ouch! Ouch! Leo cried, trying to stand. Leo, sit back down, his father shouted. Leo was injured and felt hopeless at the bottom of the pit. Don't worry, son. We'll get you out, his dad promised. We'll help too, Lucy and Lonnie yelled, while Leo waited in the pit. The sun went down, making it dark and scary inside. His father returned and shouted, Son, we can't get you out until morning. Leo's heart sank. He had never spent the night without his parents. Be patient, Leo. We will get you home safely, his mother called. Okay, Mom, he said, trying to be brave. Leo finally fell asleep, hoping to be rescued soon. When the morning sun rose, he heard Lucy calling out, Leo, how are you? I'm okay, Leo answered. Help is on the way. The lions were building a path into the pit with branches. His dad roared the others to help. Hours passed as they worked on the path of branches. Their effort wasn't going to work, and the sun was setting again. Leo was still stuck and very hungry. Son, here's something to eat. A tiny mouse landed in front of him. Leo was thankful, but it didn't compare to the zebra he had dreamed of feasting on. Knowing he would be spending another night in the pit, Leo decided to pray. God I don't know why I'm here right now. And then he remembered a Bible verse. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Galatians chapter five, verses 22 and 23. Long suffering? Huh? He still had love, 
but his joy was fading. He had peace knowing his friends and family were trying to get him out. Long suffering was the next part. Long suffering. What did long suffering mean? Was it someone who suffers a long time? That uh-huh. was it. His parents told him once that long suffering was being able to have an injury or trouble and still be patient during it. Leo drifted off to sleep, pondering about the fruit of the spirit, long suffering. Roars at the top of the pit woke Leo up early. His cousins were coming down into the pit like a giant rope. Each cousin holding the tail of the one in front of them. They finally reached Leo. He limped over and climbed up their backs. Even Lloyd was there to help. When they reached the top, all the lions roared. His parents were happy Leo was safe. You were so brave, Leo, Lonnie exclaimed. While I was in the pit, I remembered a Bible verse about long suffering. With God's help, I was able to be patient while I waited to be rescued. I could have handled it for days, even weeks, Lloyd bragged. Well, Lloyd, we could toss you down, Lucy offered. No, that's okay. Everyone laughed. Truthfully, I don't know if I really could have been patient like you, Leo, Lloyd admitted. The Holy Spirit helped me to be patient. Do you see what I see, Leo? Lucy asked. Yes, I do. It's a herd of zebra. Let's go after them, his cousins cheered. And away they all went. So, did you enjoy the the long-suffering lion? I know I did. It was awesome just to see um, um, the characteristic of long-suffering and patience from an animated standpoint. I think sometimes as children, you all can remember um, biblical principles better because you can relate to it in a fun way. So don't forget next uh, Wednesday, which will start off our first uh, chapel in October, we're going to be focusing on the characteristic of wisdom. As As an ambassador, I am wise. So we're going to be focusing on the characteristic of being wise. So if you want to participate by singing the school song or reciting the pledges or uh, the HPCA uh, mantra, you want to pray, you want to do the scriptures. If you want a birthday shout out, you got to make sure that you tell mom and dad to send me your video, your pre-recorded video. You can upload it to uh, Google Drive or you can just email it to me. And we'll be sure that you would take part in it. In the meantime, we want you to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, uh, for allowing us this time again to build on the characteristic of patience. I pray, Lord, that we'll have more opportunities to practice how to be patient one with another, Lord, even to love each other. Um, We thank you for Holy Spirit that will continue to lead and guide us and teach us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I know we have some birthdays. I know we have some birthdays. And today or this week, we are celebrating Tatum Watson. Happy birthday. We hope you enjoy your day. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. God bless you all. Look forward to seeing you next week for chapel.